The Kenya Red Cross was established by an act of parliament in 1965. Since then, the organization has played a critical role in responding to humanitarian activities across the country. Ordinarily, the association seeks for help both locally and internationally to meet its core mandate, which is to alleviate human suffering within the borders. Over the last uh, five, seven years, that has been our, our vision to be the leading humanitarian actor in this country, whether national or international. Whenever and wherever a disaster occurs in this country and there is a humanitarian need, we want to be the first one in and the last one out, and that's not negotiable. But with the growing need of humanitarian support locally and internationally, there is need to equally match up the call for support. However, like in any other field of life, a number of actors too have sprung up. Today, the humanitarian industry or business has become very, very competitive. Uh, there are too many of them than there were maybe 10, 20 years ago, all competing from the same, for the same resources. It is, however, out of this realization that five years ago, the governing body of the Kenya Red Cross embarked on a mission to fend for itself. Since the last five years, have embarked on, on a strategic direction where we're saying clearly, we want to be financially self-sustaining in the next 10 or so years. And our first step is to say, we in fact want to pay our basic core cost. Because in the whole of Africa, not a single Red Cross or Red Crescent, even in larger economies like South Africa and Egypt, the national societies in those countries are also dependent on, on aid. So just why would Red Cross get involved in commercial business, considering that they are supposed to be funded by the government of Kenya? The government is supposed to, by and large, finance the organization. Because what we are doing is work for and on behalf of the government, in a way, at the end of the day. But the government has limited resources, and the government, uh, in this case here in Kenya, we're very fortunate that the government exempt us from paying duty and taxes for our humanitarian work. So we have learned to fend for ourselves. And within our statutes and our constitution, we are allowed by the very constitution that is enacted through Act of Parliament, that the Red Cross can engage itself in lawful uh, business. But our business is such that whatever business we do, and whatever resources we generate from those businesses, then it must be ploughed back into the humanitarian work of the Kenya Red Cross. Today, the organization is involved in a number of businesses that cuts across the Kenyan economy, but key among them is the hotel business industry. Apart from the now popular Red Coat Hotel in South Sea, Nairobi, the organization is in the last stages of putting up a 2 billion shillings five-star hotel to be called the Boma, in addition to two others in Nyeri and Eldoret. We expect it to open sometime in May. Yeah, we, we've been a little slow, but sure. We want to make sure that at the end of the day, the product that we are opening to our customers is, you know, build the expectations. Additionally, the organization has also established an ambulance services, the Emergency Medical Service, or E+, that offers medical care in transit for accident victims and subscribers as they are taken to the nearest health facility. It's a growing business. It, right now, really, we, what we are doing is that we are subsidizing a lot for all the, the, the tragedies and the, and the accidents and some of the pro bono work that we do, the voluntary work that we do. If people call us and, for instance, Amran and his team is sitting here covering Mombasa Road, a lot of the accidents that happen on Mombasa Road, we will go and cover whether or not you are a your member. According to Abbas, the organization is also trying its hand in farming in Tana River. They also have plans to set up an African training and research center, as well as start a water bottling plant. All these keenly linked to their core mandate of offering humanitarian assistance to Kenyans. Being an organization that mostly relies on donor support to meet its goals, just how did the Kenya Red Cross start off with these now billions of shillings valued investments? The first uh, hotel that we built together with these uh, office blocks that is rented commercially well, it costed us about 420 million Kenya shillings. We raised that money locally ourselves. We sold other properties and assets that we had. This big uh, five-star hotel of the uh, Boma Hotel, this we have taken a commercial loan from a bank of about 24 million US dollars. 
So that is uh, today probably 1.9 or 2 billion shillings worth of, of properties. In such a business model, the returns must be equally good. But where does the organization take profits made out of these ventures? The driver will always be our humanitarian imperative. That is the driver of everything. This is the engine of even the businesses uh, that, that we run. And so we're looking at, you know, uh, a, a revenue generating stream that will then support that humanitarian aspect of our work. Although the Kenya Red Cross is seeking to spread its wings in businesses, the hotel industry still remains a favorite in the commercial menu. With the hotel industry now, especially in Nairobi, you can't go wrong. When you look around the number of hotels that have come up recently, and the number of hotels that are under construction, and others are still in the planning stage, it tells you that uh, business is good in the hotel industry. As it seeks to increase its support for humanitarian costs in the country, the Kenya Red Cross is positioning itself for the future by going into business, this aptly put by the Secretary General. We also need to, to, to be financially sound and we need to uh, think out of the traditional box of not waiting for handouts and aid from others. We need to raise our own resources. For modern day business, sustainability is key and that is the direction that the Kenya Red Cross is going. Branching off into businesses to sustain its other core mandate, which is offering humanitarian support. For Money and Power, I'm Joseph Bonnet.